Hello everybody, welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm making an Italian cookie and this is called in Italian Brutti di Buoni or Buoni and uh, in English that means ugly but good and these are a meringue based cookie uh, using hazelnuts, uh, egg whites, sugar and a little bit of vanilla. So before I go on to uh, doing that recipe I just want to mention that um, on my videos when I post them they automatically eventually get a YouTube generated subtitle in English which is not very good. And so for my last eight or so videos and some of the earlier ones I have gone into those uh, subtitles and edited them into uh, better English to more accurately reflect what I'm saying. And what I've also done is I've um, automatically translated those English subtitles into 11 languages French, German, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Russian, Chinese, Japanese, Turkish, um, Arabic. That's the 10 plus the English one. And I've just decided that I also need to add in Hindi. So I'm going to go in and add that in as well. And in the future, I will be putting these subtitles on all my videos. It may be that the video gets uploaded and then I have to wait an hour or so for the subtitles to appear before I can actually get to work on them. But within a couple of hours of posting the videos, the subtitles will be there. And I'll also be putting, working backwards and putting subtitles on all the other videos as well as time permits. So on to this recipe then for the Brutti di Buoni. Um, I have two uh, baking trays which I have lined with parchment paper. And I have a saucepan ready because we have to use a saucepan as well. And the ingredients are 300 grams of uh, chopped hazelnuts. And these are, uh, these are quite finely chopped, but they're still, still a little bit chunky. And these have been roasted. Um, if you cannot buy hazelnuts like this already chopped and roasted, you can actually put... Uh, some hazelnuts into the oven at about 130, 140 degrees and just um, on a baking tray and allow them uh, to cook until you can smell the aroma of hazelnuts at which time they will be roasted enough. You could take those out and then let them cool down and chop them up. And uh, in terms of cup measurements, after they've been chopped like this, that's two and a half cups. Then I have... Um, 200 grams, one cup of caster sugar, and then uh, the seeds from one vanilla bean. But in actual fact, what I'm using is vanilla powder, and that's half a teaspoon of vanilla powder, which equates to that seed of one vanilla bean. And then I have um, 150 grams of egg whites, which works out at um, 100 and, uh, half a cup plus one tablespoon of egg whites, which is slightly less than five medium egg whites, which would be five large ones in the USA. Um, so what I'm going to do is put my egg whites into the bowl of my stand mixer. And I'm going to add my um, vanilla powder in as well. And I'm going to start beating those until it's frothy. And then I'm going to add the sugar a little at a time and keep beating until I've achieved stiff peaks. So that's frothy and it's discoloured because of the vanilla be uh, powder, but that's fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the sugar and continue beating until I've got stiff peaks. So 
So there, yeah, as you can see, I have uh, nice stiff peaks. And what I'm going to do, just for ease of mixing in the nuts, I'm going to transfer that into another bowl. And with uh, the egg whites in the bowl, I'm going to pour in my hazelnuts and I'm going to mix those until it's all combined. And that's well enough mixed because I'm actually going to transfer that then into a saucepan. I could have mixed them in this saucepan but it's easier for you to see in the glass bowl. So I'm just going to transfer that into this saucepan. And then I'm going to put that onto a gentle heat and I'm going to stir it continuously until uh, the mixture um, turns a nice golden brown. Some of the moisture from the egg whites will evaporate and uh, this mixture will become, rather than spreading out, it will actually become uh, firmer as we put it onto the uh, baking tray. I would have my oven preheating to 130 Celsius, which is 265 Fahrenheit, ready to take the cookies uh, when they've been uh, spooned onto the baking trays. So the first thing to do is to heat um, our egg white and hazelnut mixture until it's turned that nice golden brown. So on a very low heat, I'm going to stir this and it's going to take, I would say, at least 10, 12, 15 minutes. Um, and it's on a very low heat so that uh, we try to eliminate as much as possible any of the uh, egg whites burning on the bottom of the pan. I'm sure it will create a film on the bottom of the pan um, but it won't burn. So I've stirred that until it's uh, thickened up and some of the moisture has come out of the egg whites. So the next thing to do is to transfer that into spoons full on my baking tray. So what I'm going to do is to take um, an amount, about um, maybe a tablespoon, a, a tablespoon and I'm going to just drop that onto the tray. I'm going to do them three across. So I have 21 um, and they're roughly shaped. Now one of the things uh, to decide is whether you want these cookies to be chewy on the inside, crunchy on the outside, chewy on the inside, or whether you want them to be crunchy all the way through so that the meringue has dried out as it's baked. Uh, I think traditionally they do have a chew to them, but by varying the length of time that you bake them for, you can dry the meringue out that little bit more. Now I'm going to bake mine for 45 minutes then I'm going to take them out. They will be soft to the touch, but I'll leave them for a minute. And then if I can lift one up and peel, uh, peel off from the parchment paper, that would be done. If they're not quite peeling off, I'll put them in for a few more minutes. Um, and I want mine to still have a bit of a chew to them. So that 45 to 50 minutes probably should be good enough for that. You could extend the time if you wanted to. So I'll put these into the oven I'll bake them and then I'll come back and show you the results. I baked the uh, Brutti uh, Ma Buoni, ugly but good cookies, and I let them bake for 45 minutes and then I checked them and uh, I decided to give it another five minutes. So I left them for five minutes more, then I took them out of the oven and le left them to cool down for about 10 minutes. Then I gently peeled them off the paper and put them onto a wire rack. 
They stuck a little bit on the paper, but that, that was fine. This is what they look like. They're nice and hard. And I will have a taste of one. So it's nice and crunchy on the outside, but it's soft and got that meringue chew to it on the inside. A lovely uh, flavour of those roasted hazelnuts. So this is a very simple recipe, but the, the hazelnut uh, taste with the meringue is very, very good indeed. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link for it below the video as well. And remember that soon after it goes online I will be uh, putting the subtitles and making those available as well so you'll be able to click. And to get to the subtitles if it's not automatic click on the uh, settings icon at the bottom of uh, the video and that will allow you to choose the subtitles in the language that you want. Then I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.